What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft here on MagicTheGathering.edu. Today we're doing another stipulation draft, uh, courtesy of Tanos, the one and only Tanos, Command Tanos. And uh, <clears throat> the stipulation, I'm going to ignore this for right now, but I am going to reserve it. The stipulation is, let's make stuff good, five color good stuff, deck must have five colors in casting costs, including post sideboard. Hybrid cards count as two colors. I like this because there's no, like, you don't have to take every five color card. You don't have to take them over lands. You don't have to, you know, you just, you, you basically just can take whatever you want. But the deck has to have five colors. Which means Mana Flare 100%. <laughs> I'm going to decline that pick. So, I am going to keep my eye uh, heavily skewed towards the, the, uh, the multicolor cards to make sure I get the good ones. What's up, Rob Coil Engine? Long time no see, buddy. All right, so Corrupt Decay is all right. It's probably just Ashiok, right? I just take Ashiok. Plow Under is very good. Orzov Signet helps us with our colors. Static Suicide, welcome back, buddy. Forty months in a row—that's a long time. That's basically a lifetime. Finally found the sub of a lifetime. I don't think it's a Leshenorn. I, I, you know what, Spazio, I'm not going to listen to you right now. I'm going to appreciate your input. But I may ignore your suggestions. Definitely don't like I don't I don't like fast spawn. Fast spawn's only good in like two decks. It's good in the upheaval deck and it's good in the storm deck. Where you can play like time spiral, untap your lands, put a bunch of lands into play, or you can upheaval. I'm just gonna take Ashiok. Tundra is probably too good to pass here. It is a blue source for Ashiok and it also facilitates our five color goodness. There's also no other. Uh, no other gold. There's no gold cards in this pack, so I don't even feel bad about passing something. And the Savannah may come back, or the Gruul Signet. One of these might come back. Either way, we're taking Savannah for sure. Why are you taking so long to load? Is it me? Is it on my end? <coughs> Badlands is also a black source for this. Uh, for this Ashiok as well. All right. Definitely taking the Badlands here. I'm going to take every d actual dual land we can find. Uh, I don't mind a Stirring Wildwood. Garrick Apex Predator is a pretty sweet top end, though. Hmm. Urborg could be very, very good for fixing. Hmm. I don't know what to take here. It's either I think it's one of these three. I think one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three are coming back. I don't think Garrick's coming back. I'm gonna take the Stirring. Oh God. Well, I'm gonna take the Garrick. I think the the upside on Garrick is higher, especially with a Lotus. Colagon's command. That's pretty good. Definitely taking the Colagon's command. Arid Mesa. Arid Mesa gets both a Tundra and a Badlands right now. Definitely taking Arid Mesa. I don't think it's close, but if we if there wasn't an Arid Mesa, I'd probably take the Duretti, because actually I'm a big fan of Duretti. Hissing Quagmire. Yeah, okay. We could take Lotus Cover, but I don't like being base green, but we might just be base green anyway. Why are you singing Mother by it's uh Oh, am I singing? It's been my only request, and I'll <laughs> yet to hear it again oh my god I was like I wasn't singing mother oh you want me to sing mother <clears throat> tell your children not to walk my way oh mother <clears throat> our mana base is looking pretty fresh right now Arid Mesa looking fresh, y'all. Oh, mother. Did you give me the dark night? Oh, mother. Oh, Temple Garden came back? Oh, baby. We can get that with an Arid Mesa too. So our Mesa gets black, 
Uh, black, red, green, white. Oh, our Mad Max got all five colors now. That's gas. Orzov Signet came back, which is exactly what I wanted. And one, two. We, only, we have we have all five colors except for white right now. I'll take the Orzov Signet. The colors are more important than the Abrupt Decay. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> I, I think our this this deck looks amazing so far. Oh dang, no five color guys. I think we're just gonna th take the Gear Hulk. I don't maybe it's Blade Splicer. Uh Gear Hulk's probably better, right? Gear Hulk's Gear Hulk's fine. I'll take the Gear Hulk. I actually think Gear Hulk is pretty underrated. Wow, the Sacred Foundry came back? Oh my god, now the Arid Mesa can get that too? Every land, every these are all dual lands except for one and the Arid Mesa. Tundra, Temple, Sacred, Badlands, we can search for them all. That's amazing. Um, you know what? Maybe we'll end up Slinger Twin. Who knows? Who knows? Five color Kiki Jiki. That's the world I want to live in. We only have five playables so far, but our mana base is looking fresh. And we're going to open a Mox or an Ancestral here. It's going to be a sweet. You guys ready? Told ya. Told ya. <clears throat> and it's one of our main colors as well. Oh my god. This is everything I've ever wanted. I'm going to take it. The universe is a simulation. Volcanic Island. Oh, baby. Now our Ard Mesa can get blue. Oh, it could have gotten that before, but now it can get red-blue. I mean, we already have uh, Ard Mesa and Sacred Foundry for Plateau, so I think it's just Volcanic Island. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm finally ready to have your kids. Fantastic. I've been waiting for so long. Mind Twist... I'll be. Well, I'll be. Yeah, it's got to be mind twist here. We have Mox Jet. We have or Orzhov Signet. We're basically we're base black, I think. Plus, we have Lotus. Oh, we'll have things to cast. Don't you worry. I was wondering if you saw the new Birthing Pod creature for Allegiance. If so, uh, I did. I did see it actually. It's probably amazing in Commander. I think it's a little too sensitive in constructed formats. I don't think you're going to play a four mana creature like that in modern. Like for four, for four mana, you can actually play and activate a birthing pod, and it's much harder to kill. Whereas someone's just going to go like, like you can fatal push, you can crack a fetch land and fatal push it. Like spending four mana on that card in modern is pretty ambitious. I just sneezed and my glasses fell into the sneeze. <laughs> oh god. Lotus is black, I guess you're base black. Yeah, that's true. 
the actual lotus it, <clears throat> not only can it make black mana the lotus itself is also black so I mean Seven eleven. so this is we have 18 cards so this is a fourth pick Jace Turn one Jace off of a Lotus is exactly what you want to do in cube. So, like, I'm actually surprised. <clears throat> and there's going to be a ton of stuff that can probably come back. That pack was actually pretty solid. Godless Shrine. We don't have a black white land yet. Creeping Tar Pit, also pretty cool. I'm also a fan of Explosion Expansion. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I just want the land here, right? Could be Creeping Tarpet. We don't have a blue-black land yet. I actually like Creeping Tarpet here. It gives us another way to win. It's another way to victory. It reads 2BB. Actually, it's 2UU. There you go. You fixed it. You. I was like, 2BB? Jace is a black card now? All the cards in cube have so much. They do. They do. It's true. Unlike, unlike like a regular draft where it's like, 3-2 creature. Here's some flavor text. And you're like, I see. <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many lands is too many lands? Because I want to take this Blood Crypt. We already have bad lands, I guess. It could be Nissa, but we don't actually have any. We literally have one forest uh, dual land. This pack's pretty bad for us. I guess it could be Hypnotic Spectre. Turn one Hypnotic Spectre is not terrible. We're not even a tooth and nail deck, to be to be for real, for real. I'm gonna take the blood crypt. I guess <clears throat> I'd rather have a green source. Is tooth and nail just better if we get the cards for it? It's probably better, right? I'd rather just have the tooth and nail for the potential than have like we already have. What is this? One two. Scalding Tarn is utterly amazing here. What does Scalding Tarn get for us? I think it's every color, right? Because our, our lands have, have lined up very, very well. Scalding Tarn gets us white, red, blue, black. No green yet. We don't have a blue, green, or a red, green land. But it's still very, very good. I think a second fetch land is really what we need. Oh, God, but there's a Grave Titan in here. It's probably Grave Titan. The Homunculus, especially the flavor text... I did. I don't actually like the flavor text. It's kind of weird. Maybe that's me being critical, though. It's got to be. Come on, someone tell me to take this over the Scalding Tarn. Oh, God. We just need playables. Like, I have ten playables right now. I really don't want to not have a, a deck. <clears throat> so, I'm going to take playables here. Oh, it's your boy. We do need a white card. I don't know if I want to go with a double white card yet, though. I probably should have taken the Scalding Tarn. I'm having I'm having buyer's remorse. I also like just Ophiomancer here. I think it's one of these two right now. Yeah, I'll just say, I like Snake. I'm a big Snake fan. You guys, y'all know me. I like I like my snakes. Acidic Slime's good. Edric's we're probably not an Edric deck. I'm probably just gonna take Lava Claw Reaches here. We have two creature lands already? Hmm. We're probably gonna be running a lot of forest because it's like the one it's the one land that's pretty underrepresented. We only have two lands that produce green. We're right? like we have black, 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 red, 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 blue, blue, blue. I'll take the acidic slime. <clears throat> wow, the plateau came back? So did the Vivian Reed and the Sakura Tribe Elder? Wow. Wow. I actually think I just want the Sakura Tribe Builder here. Vivian Reed's very good. Plateau also obviously very good. But we already have a, we already have enough to get. Like I'm gonna just get to get Vivian Reed. Huntmaster was something I'd hope came back. We are we need a white card. Stat. I think Vivian's much stronger than than Anguish on making. I do like Huntmaster. I also like Go for the Throw. I'm gonna take the Huntmaster. Windswept Teeth. 
I mean, we have a whole pack. We're going to get a white card. I'm not really concerned with that. Like, we'll play Parallax Wave if we have to, just to blink our own Huntmaster, to blink our Bailoth, our Acidic Slime, our Grave Titan, and our Gear Hulk. Oh, that would be gas. Wow. Godless Shrine? <sighs> our mana base is so stacked right now. It's not even real. And a Dreadbore. I was I was upset passing to Terminate, but then I ended up getting a Dreadbore last pick. Wow. Interesting. Interesting pack. Nothing that jum really jumps out at me. Banishing Light's pretty nice. I do like a Mull Drifter, but I think we're actually okay on like card advantage cards. How many mana sources do we have in our sideboard? 12 right now? What does <clears throat> what does Windswept Heath get for us? Let's find out. No, you're an Arid Mesa. It doesn't get you. It gets black, green, white, red. It does not get... I would really like a Breeding Pool or a Tropical Island at some point. I think I'm just going to take Vanishing Light. It's a sweet white card. Nahiri, also a pretty sweet white card. We don't actually have a, a top. We don't have a, a payoff for Nahiri, unfortunately. It was definitely Banishing Light or Muldrifter. Those were definitely the options I was leaning towards. <clears throat> uh, it could be Worm Coil. It could be Rakdos Signet. I like Rakdos Signet here. We have a Tundra. Oh, we can't. Wow, we do have a Tundra. Yikes. So it literally gets all five colors. Fantastic. Fantastic. I also like Worm Coil Engine a lot. I think it is Rakdos Signet. Tooth and Nail is not doing much yet, which is unfortunate. Which is kind of why I like Muldrifter here, or uh, Worm Coil here. I think it's actually Worm Coil. I bet one of these signals will, signets will table. If you guys can hear that in the background, it is the laundry. It's not my laundry, but it is a laundry. We could take Kiki Jiki, but I really think it's pretty ambitious. Triple Red is kind of rough here. I do kind of like Scrubland a lot, but we already have a Godless Shrine. It might just be Nicol Bolas. Is it Nicol Bolas? <laughs> like, <clears throat> it feels like it's Nicol Bolas. Could be Sphinx's Relation. I think it's wait. I think I think it's definitely one of these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five cards are coming back. I bet Bolas comes back. It could be Compulsive Research. Compulsive is pretty good here. I just want more cards that do stuff. Yeah, I'll take Compulsive. I bet one of those two comes back, which I'm very very okay with. Coalition Relic seems amazing here. Karn Liberated also seems very, very good. Uh, definitely, I've definitely tried Bolas before. It's definitely... Uh, <clears throat> I can see Demir Signet being better than... Because uh, we have very few things to do on turn two. Coalition Relic is very good. Maybe we get another Signet, though. I think it is Coalition Relic. Oh, yeah. Speak of the Devil. Elspeth Nidorant is a good one. Uh, Mirari's Wake could be good. Search for Azkanta seems great here, though. It's just a way to filter some of our draws. A scrub land is a land who can't tap for green for me. Moon on the best friend side of you. Main next round, trying to holler at me. <clears throat> it could be Elspeth. Let's sort by color. We're very heavy green. We're very heavy black and blue. Wow. We're heavy green, black, and blue, guys. Who saw that coming? I like search. I like search here. Force of will. Oh, Thief of Sanity is great. So is so Golgari Signet and Simic Signet. <clears throat> These are actually two very, very playable Signets for us. Gideon's all right. I really like Thief of Sanity, though. Simic Signet seems real good. I 
I like Sign Signet because it actually helps us cast uh, Mystic Snake. You guys seem to like Thief though. I think Thief is probably the pick. I bet we can. I bet we can get another. We can still probably get one of those Signets at the very least. Jace. Uh, I feel like we actually should take a Stomping Ground because it gives us a way to cast. It has. It's a. It's a. It's a green red source that we can get with both win or green. Yeah, green red source that we can get with both Arid Mesa and Windswept Teeth, which is nice, which we actually don't have yet. So. Oh, Bitter Blossom. A Johnny Vengeant. I like Knight of Autumn a lot, actually. I like having this ability, and right now we don't actually have any ways to deal with artifacts or enchantments other than Colagon's Command. And Banishing Light, I guess. And Acidic Slime. Alright, maybe we have more than... And Vidivian Reed. Okay, so... That being said, probably leaning towards Bitter Blossom. <clears throat> so we have 13. We're going to play 4 basics in this deck. That's pretty crazy. I'm going to take Bitter Blossom. Alright, well... Our, basic, our number of basics is probably going down here. Makeshift Mannequin, we have eight creatures. I don't see that being the pick. I don't see either of these lands actually making the cut either. Um, It could just be Makeshift Mannequin. Getting back any of these guys is pretty good. I'll just take Makeshift Mannequin. It's not High Tide, it's not Tangle Wire, it's neither of those. It's not the double white cards, so. Signet came back. Could have been Mindsever. I just don't think we need another 6-drop. Like, Tassigar I'm tempted to take, but it's not a 6-drop. It's definitely like a 3-drop. I do like Nahiri, but I don't like not having a top end for Nahiri. If we if we had like an Emrakul or like an Ulamog, I'd be tempted to take Nahiri. I think it's just actually Tassigar here. Oh, 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 oh. And the Scrubland comes back? Oh my god. I think it's got to be Nicobolas here. That's the top end we want, my dudes. Wow. 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 I want to take Baneslayer Angel. It's the card I'm most likely to play. Elspeth, also good. Now our white our, our white cards are much better now. Yep, you're good too. No, None of the Signets came back? Come on. That's sad. All right, now we need to make some cuts here. Our mana base is fresh, though. <clears throat> Trying to holler at me. All right, 11, 12, 13, four basics are going in. Why not thousand your storm goes in every deck? Uh, and I'm not sure if that's true. We can easily take Tooth and Nail out. We're not a Tooth and Nail deck at all. Uh, calling out Ashiok, Compulsive, Banishing Light, else, but I can take the Gideon out. I'm not a huge Gideon fan. And Bailoth is probably a better sideboard card. This deck actually looks really sweet. This could be our 23. Alright, so for these things, we do this job. We go over here, we go to Properties, we go to Analysis, and then we write down these numbers so that we can get an idea of how much we need of each. All right. Let's see what we're working with here. All right. So, <clears throat> adding all of this in. This is actually one of my favorite archetypes to draft. So, way to go, Tanos. Really appreciate it. Reeves, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. <clears throat> did the PayPal go through? It definitely did. I definitely got it. All right, so. All right, so what are we doing here? How many white sources do we have? Let's figure that out. Let me let me pop up this menu. We have five five we need five white sources in the deck. Two of them are double white, which is unfortunate, but I think our mana base supports it. Like, we have a lot of... We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven white sources right here. We'll tentatively play a planes. I'm going to err on this being correct. We'll see, what that's, we'll see what that's like. So we have eight white sources right now. I'm actually going to write this down. White, blue, black, red, green... 
five equals eight sources. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Obviously not including Coalition Relic or Lotus. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not including these because they're for everything. So uh, let's check out black sources. Uh, let's go with blue. We'll go in order. Blue, we probably need an island. Everything comes back. All right, so we have this one. Volcanic Island was an amazing pickup because the Arab Mesa can grab it. Tundra. Can you get any blue sources? No. So our blue is a little, a little, a little sad. However, we only have two. We have two double blue cards. Biscuits. I might actually not want to planes then. We might want a second island. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is. Oh, the windswept heath gets tundra. So I'm not smart. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have nine. Eleven, four, nine. Nine equals what? One, two, three, four, five, six sources? That doesn't seem right. <clears throat> I'd rather go up to seven sources at another island. And just take out the planes for now. So the planes goes down to white goes down to seven sources. Blue goes up to seven sources. And then there's also these two. Okay. So I think that's good. Black, we have eleven sources, which is easily our most sourced. <laughs> Whatever that means. All right, so when Swift Heath gets gone, the shrine, creeping tar pits. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, but eight like eight non uh, non universal sources. That seems good enough for me, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and Arid Mesa. So nine. All right, so that's perfect. Might not need a swamp for that, to be honest. I don't think we have. I think our only double black card is Grave Titan. Oh, and Nicol Bolas. So Swamp is tentatively being cut. We'll see. If we need if we need the space for something else. Red, I don't think we need actually, I don't think we need a mountain. For sure. We only have four red sources in the deck, and literally all of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. <clears throat> we definitely don't need a, a mountain here. And finally, green. So we can get rid of this guy. Add you, add you. None of you are green. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna have nine sources. I'm probably gonna cut the swamp and add another forest. Because we supposed to, especially because we have three of these guys. So now we have eight black sources. This is six green, six red sources, and nine we have, or green we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that seems good. So it's seven, seven, eight, six, seven, not including the Lotus and the Coalition Relic. And this seems pretty good. Also, we have a Mox, so I don't really want that. All right, I think we're gonna run this thing. I think it's gonna be sweet. And we also have Hissing Quagmire and Creeping Tarpit as ways to kill them. We only have eight creatures, but we do have lots of Planeswalkers. And Baneslayer Angel is just a pretty sweet, uh, Win condition. <sighs> this is a keepable hand. <clears throat> it's not the fastest hand. If we can top take a Mox or a Lotus, I'd be real excited. We did not do that. All right, so we're going to play this. I wish we had a... We need a black source. I guess we can get a Badlands. Because our coalition really gets us, like, the second white or the, the green. Badlands gives us the best distribution of colors, I believe. Because we... Eh, I guess we can get Stomping Ground, too. No, we want a black source. So we're going to get Badlands. Uh, yeah, let's just go Badlands. The old Badlands into Tundra, a classic. I think our Planeswalker is better. However, your Planeswalker can attack our Planeswalker, which is pretty awkward. 
our bad land. I feel like when you when you have a Gideon uncontested, uh, the first thing you want to do is always just destroy their or uh, make the emblem. I'm actually going to go this because I think being able to play something on five when we have acidic slime and gear hulk and bane slayer is probably better than um just running out an Ashiok into a, a Gideon. <laughs> just went full beautiful mind what is that where did i do that that sounds hilarious yep that's a thing let's replay like sensei's top there's an emblem there you go you did it uh definitely green here and there are Oh, no, let's not do that. All right, I'll play the green. One, two, three, four. Acid slime. Let's get rear island. And then we have a great blocker for Monastery Mentor. They can't daze us. There's also an argument to me for getting rid of their second white source, but if you can deny them a full color. Emblem is not a permanent, no. Otherwise, it would be susceptible to any any sort of destroy target permanent cards. Emblems just are, man. <laughs> they just exist, you know? You can't really... Don't try to, like, define them. Just... I don't know what's going on here. Emblems will have interaction in the near future. I hope not. That's really what that that'd be, feels like an awkward, uh, an awkward dynamic. I guess they could make a card that's like destroy an emblem, but in order to destroy an emblem, you have to change the fundamental rules of the game in the sense that like emblems are now things that can be interacted with. Are you are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Are we having joke time now? I do not like. Oh, if you control like a Gideon Emblem, do X. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, now I'm wishing I held this acidic slime. <clears throat> well, that's sad. Gideon's a real, a real dude. He's a real boy. Oh, Winter Orb. Oh, boy. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six mana. What are we doing with our six mana? Hmm. Well, huh. This is tricky. Huntmaster not only does the most, but we can use it without... Yeah, we're going to go green here. We'll just play Huntmaster by himself. And it lets us put another counter on this and untap another land. And hopefully they just don't have a way to deal with this. Let's try 
trying to holler at me. I don't want no scrubs. Scrub is a guy who can get no love from me. And now I have no scrubs in my head because someone mentioned it when Scrubland came around, and I don't know how I feel about that. They could just have no cards in hand. That'd be gas. Or no, no playable cards in hand. That'd be great. Let me flip my wolves. Oh, that's... What is that? One mana? All right. I guess it's just a basic land. Lodestone Golem. Sure. Oh, wow. They didn't... Plus Gideon. That's pretty cool. Well, yet anyway. Sure. Do 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 So they get to untap one land and we get to keep having coalition relic that gives us three. I wanna untap we're so our, our, we're probably gonna go virtuous gear hulk here. We get one, two, three from this, four oh we can't. We're one away. We're one away. Oh. Well then. Hmm. What are we doing here? I don't really want to tap any lands, but I think we have to. Actually, maybe we don't tap anything. Maybe we just flip this guy. And then we get to kill Monastery Mentor. That actually seems great. We could just pass here. I would like getting rid of their cards in their hand, but I think if they had a way to kill... No, it's definitely not Ashiog time. Then we have to tap literally everything because of the Monastery Mentor. And they only get to untap one land here. And all their non-artifact spells cost more, so... You know. Seems like they just lock themselves out of... Favorable interactions here. Oh, we can actually hit the Gideon, too. Yeah, let's do that. Come at me, bro. See, now we have a 4-4 that blocks with this guy or a 2-2 blocks with this guy. You can only deal with one. <clears throat> I'm at FNM right freaking now watching Frank on my phone. What a time to be alive. Man, that's some magic exception right there. I mean, they have three, three cards in hand and only one land to use anything with. Meanwhile, we have Coalition Relic, so, you know, shrug. Seems pretty okay for us. Are we trading here? Oh, we're not trading here. So, what I just... Could have, yeah, thought I did that, but alright. And Coalition Relic OP, guys. Untap one land. Go for this guy. One, two, three, four, five. We have five mana this turn. We can only use four of it. We might just Mind Twist. Let's Mind Twist again. Like we did last summer. Or we don't do anything. Maybe just Ashiok. Like, sitting behind an Ashiok seems pretty strong. Although they can attack with Gideon a bunch, which is pretty obnoxious. <sighs> I feel like this match is actually taking a while because we have a lot of decisions to make each turn. Two, three. Yeah, we could just gear hulk. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get a green. Yeah, gear hulk is an option. I actually like that a lot. So one, two, three, four, five. Nope. Yep, that's that works. They can't daze. <laughs> All right. Um, six sixes in the building. So if they double block three and one, yeah, let's just hit Gideon. That seems fine. If they want to block with, yeah, if they want to double block, it's totally fine. We're still way ahead. And Gideon still takes two. 
What's going on here? <laughs> Shiny play dual utility. What in the fudge? Huh. This error may be unrecoverable. Shiny play dual utility. You guys ever seen any shiny play dual utilities before? I guess blocking is uh is a real hassle for Magic Online. Like she cannot take it. <laughs> shiny play dual utility. All right, sounds good. Player name. Turn one player name. God, I'm really wondering if I just destroyed the client forever. Is this broken? What's going on? Oh, we did it. All right, so getting into three, everything is as it should be. The world is is correct. Oh, it moved too. All right, so now we're going to move you back. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Like you did last summer. Oh, we just win the match. All right. So basically, their own Winter Orb and their own Lodestone Golem were their own downfall. Don't don't play Winter Orb when your opponent has a Coalition Relic. No one's win. No one. No one wins there. The unfortunate thing about drafting the sweet de the five color deck with all the lands is that you have so many fewer good sideboard cards because right now we actually had to pick. 13, 13 of our picks were lands or a, a mana cards. So it leaves our sideboard kind of anemic. I think we're okay, though. <sighs> yeah, this hand's fine. If we can top deck a Lotus here, oh my god. Well, we didn't top deck a Lotus, but our hand is still amazing. Look at all these colors. So we have Arid Mace, so we're probably getting a Tundra or a Volcanic Island with it. We need double white, we don't need double red, so I think it's probably Tundra. You got it. Deck's perfect, no reason to sideboard. You know, I agree with you. Well, we don't have anything any, in any reasonable time frame. Tonos with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I bet this clip is the uh, shiny play dual utility. <laughs> solid title. Jason, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Misha's Workshop. How classy. Lotus off the top so I can acidic slime it. One time. That's not it. I feel like we're in bad shape because they had Workshop. That's sad. I'm having a bad time. Well, we still have things to do. I don't know what they are yet, but... We'll get there. Lotus. Oh, you're going to Caracas and tap my Creeping Tar Pit. Sure. Still Lotus. One time. That would have been great. That would have been great. Two five drops. Let's play you here. And then next turn we can... They're going to tap one. And we get one, two, three, four, five. We can go Acidic Slime. Preferably kill the Batter Skull. We're going to go to six here, but... It was one third of a lotus, that is true. Here we go. Four mana. Lodestone Golem. Derail our plans. No. Three, four, five, six. Worm coil engine? Good lord. Huh. This is awkward. I don't know what's going on here. Chalice. That's boring. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Well, here we go. Interesting choice. Yeah, that also works, I guess. <coughs> so, one, two, three, banishing light. Get rid of this guy. So we're definitely getting a green source now, probably a temple garden. Because we have a lot of double green cards. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that that's a blank. And you have an ever flowing chalice out. How much mana do you need, my man? God, do I crack the mesa and go to three? I have to, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Because if we hit a land, we get to go worm coil engine, which is pretty good. And it also, like, three is the same as as four when they only have Tide Hollow Sculler out. Let's get Temple Garden. Because now they might see two green and be like, oh, I don't need to kill your other green. Or they just keep hitting the green. Yep, that was nice. All right. <clears throat> so, let's Worm Coil. One, two, three, four, five, six. Days! <laughs> All right. Well. Vivian Reed killing Tide Hollow Scholar would, might have also been a very good play. Because it just gets it off the board. But I really want to try to start gaining some life. Island, Island, Plains. Sure. Wow, these REM references in the chat. You guys are, uh, yikes. I'll try to. These are the Shuddering and come. I want you to remember. Do, 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 do. Yeah, unfortunately we had to play the second green in order to play to have six mana or double green, double green. So there was no way around playing forest here, unfortunately. Alright. Hmm. Searching for two. I don't know what this could be. Phyrexian Revoker? Name Moxjet. <sighs> I'm trying to think of an artifact for two that I'm very scared of here. It was always Jitte. Winter Orb. God, doesn't it? Wow. Revoker. Okay. All right. <laughs> sure. I'll show you. <laughs> I mean, that's all very good. But, like, we still have a Worm Coil Engine. So, I guess we'll untap this guy. And then we'll tap it with a Rashadden port. Which is actually fine. Like, if you're going to spend two mana to tap one of our manas every turn, you're not coming ahead there, buddy. Oh, Desert just dies. Seems good. 
So we got a five here? Sure. Tap one of my lands, I dare you. Yeah, so Revoker can hit... So here's the thing. Revoker can only hit non-land cards, but it can shut off mana abilities. Pithing Needle can only hit... Can hit any card, but it can't shut off mana abilities. Those are the two distinctions between Phyrexian Revoker and Pithing Needle. They're very, very... They're sizable distinctions. So we're going to Treachery. Eleshnorn. Oh, boy. Good times. I don't even know what's happening right now. I'm gonna untap this in case we draw Dreadbore. Orzov Signet. Not exactly a Dreadbore. So if we block here, we take 4 8, we gain 4. Yep, let's just go to the next game. We can't actually slam Norn because Mox Jet is under the Revoker, unfortunately. If you have to draw Bitter Blossom or Search for Azkanta, or Thief of Sanity, or Colagon's Command, which is a great answer for the, uh, or Mystic Snake. I understand that you need to take days off for your birthday, for <laughs> because you're not asking I can get to celebrate your birthday with you. Where's the coast of their friend of Mystic Snake? Man, Matthew, that's a solid message, buddy. Good times, good times. Um, yes. Tundra into Mox Jet. Keep. Snap keep. Sacred Foundry, turn, turn two, we're going to go Mox Jet Tundra. Yeah, this is great. And they went to six. Oh, turn two, Ashiok is gas. Plus, we have mana for this. We have the green and the blue. All we need is one more blue for Mystic Snake. P -p 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 Perfect. It was your birthday yesterday? Every day is my birthday. It was not my birthday. It might have been Mike's birthday if he was on the stream. I want you to remember. Don't have mana tithe. I don't think their deck... I haven't seen a single way to deal with uh, turn two Ashiok in their deck, so... Oh, we hit a Mentor? Play play a creature, and then we can go Mentor, kill the creature. Oh, my God. Yep, all right. I figured they were going to do that, actually. That's sad, because now they're gonna just, just going to take the Dreadbore. Or they don't. Depends on what they, uh... I just sent Mike the happy birthday message, so I'll let you know when it's received. Yep, that's a cool dude. Oh, uh, no, that doesn't do anything. Mm, biscuits. Well, biscuits. <laughs> and, uh, we're just gonna keep exiling. If you only have two pressure, two pressure on the board. Uh, what did we get? Land taxed Anguish Gideon. Seems good. Wish we had a second blue here, but alas, our deck, our mana base is just terrible. Can you read my last question? Is the new Mystic Snake? It's not my favorite card now, because it's really it's really mana intensive. Green, green, blue, blue is really hard to cast, and it's probably going to be worse than constructed. That's my only problem with it. I just worry that it's not going to see any play whatsoever, because four, like, four, four colored mana is very prohibitive. Interesting. What can you get here that actually deals with an Ashiok? Oh, Mishra's Workshop. Wow. Yep, that's pretty good. Yeah, obviously. This deck is very strange. Less strange.
So here's what I'm tempted to do. I'm tempted to get rid of this guy. And then Dreadbore this guy next turn. That actually seems better. My nice Frank's answer was it his birthday or Mike's? Uh, if Mike's on stream, it's his birthday. My birthday is only when you want it to be my birthday. This guy's problematic, but like, we have two blockers. One, two, three, four. If we had one more land, we can actually kill both. One, two. All right, seems good. <laughs> I played Winter on turn two. Look at all the friends. Yeah, we're definitely just blocking with a monk here. We just monking around. The problem is you can't make a mechanic like Jumpstart, which ultimately exiles the spell after the second use, and then have creatures that don't. Uh, interact with the exile zone because it's just like the creatures are fun, so, so much significantly worse when you have all your when you're exiling all your spells anyway. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're not there yet. O stone in your own Ashiok. All right, cool. Oh, uh, did I add a red? I did not add a double black. All right. Kill this idiot. I mean, being able to just untap and go Garrick is pretty sweet. If we hit a land. Uh, we are pretty far off from Bolus mana. We have six mana. I, I, Dev Bolus is definitely not a card I want to draw anytime soon. All right, something big. Seven mana, mere battle sphere. Double blue is is constricting us here, unfortunately. What's going on right now? Did they forget workshop was only? Did they want to attack first? Nope. Also, Garrick Trigger's Prowess? Oh my god. Oh, they just didn't do anything. Fascinating. Exile. Just keep on exiling, I guess. Is it... <laughs> Triggers for days. Seems good. Oh, they didn't do anything? Wow, that's weird. One, two, three, four, five, six. They had seven mana? Did they need something for... Did they need eight? Did they have an eight mana spell that they were trying to cast? I don't understand. I'm very confused. All I know is that the more I cast uh, blue creatures, the more I cast... The more, the, more, the more tokens I make, the better... The better life gets. What? What? Okay, you guys saw me clicking, right? It didn't move, so I clicked it again, and that, that pulled it away. We, we, we're all clear that that's what happened. <sighs> Just want to make sure that's what we saw. Can this get a blue source? We can get a volcanic with this. We're keeping it. Oh, look, because this guy's here, now we can't do anything. That's really sad. That's really annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I need one more for the. It was an MTGO issue. Like it, I clicked and then I clicked again. Like it's it's MTGO lagging. That was really obnoxious. Ashok being at negative four is really frustrating. We do get to keep up Mystic Snake. And they have 12 cards in their deck? I don't know. 
I mean, if you throw anything out here, I'll counter it. I guess that's good. Yep. Oh boy. I mean, I don't want to double block here, especially with a Garrick on board. That's fine. You can just kill Ashiok. I'm actually tempted to double block this guy. That seems better. Ashiok's going to die. We can counter whatever they play, and then we can follow up with a Garrick. Yeah, this seems insane. I thought Solo was great. Solo was super entertaining. I enjoyed it. So. Yeah, I guess we're just going to the next turn, boys. Uh, graveyard. Draw. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I kind of like that. We can get back nothing. We can destroy a land, make them discard. And we still get to keep up one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we get to keep up Mystic Snake too. That's pretty gas. I don't think it's really that hot of a take. I mean, as usual, I'm going to defer to Rotten Tomatoes. Solo has a 70% on Rotten Tomatoes. 70% of the people thought it was fresh. So I really don't think it's that hot of a take. I mean, that's pretty high for a movie. I mean, it's not 80 or 90, but it's 70 is is more than adequate for a fun movie. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, wow. I guess they have poor taste, yeah. If people don't like my taste, they have no taste. Ha ha ha. I have the definitive tastes in the world. Yeah, I guess 70%. Alternatively, maybe you have poor taste because you're in the minority. Fascinating. Um, I'm just going to take four here. All right, so... Oh, well, that's not what I want to do. All right, this is... We're, we're like missing things left and right. Um, Put this in the graveyard. No... Do we really need it though? Yeah, we can just put this in the graveyard. Rather, it's gonna be a different land or a spell. That's fine. One, two, uh, we're gonna go three, and then we got blue, blue, green. We can still play everything. Nope, we're gonna use this instead because now we have white, black for col or uh, black, red for Coligon, and then we have green, blue, blue. All right, cool, we did it. Rotten Tomatoes is liberal propaganda. That's gas. I agree with Tanos. It exists in the Star Wars universe, man. Like, <laughs> it's, it's bought by Disney. Like, you have to take it for what it is. It is this. You wanted it to be a different thing. It is not that. That does that in and of itself doesn't make the movie bad. Like, that's so weird. It's like if I if I wanted a movie animated, right? Like, they're gonna I want to, I want an animated version of Transformers, and they make a live action movie of the Transformers. It's not what I wanted, but that in and of itself doesn't mean that the offering that they gave was bad. Like, that's just. Kind of a that's kind of a ridiculous take right there. We're taking a lot of damage from this guy. But I'm not gonna there's no chance I'm gonna like take down my Mystic Snake Shields here, so. Alright, so we're gonna do this jobby. Destroys a card. No, that's not how that works. Uh, discards destroy an artifact. Discard. Destroy an artifact. Black, red, white. I 
I went to the movie theater. They're going to bounce it, right? Yeah, sure. That's fine because it's not on the board. So now we can play Garrick and... Like, they have a black and a white. Misha's Workshop and Tolarian Academy don't actually do anything here. Fatal Push. Um. Yes, and we can also flip this. So now we actually have a lot of mana. I don't think we have enough for... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that's not enough. I guess we can actually go Grave Titan and keep up Mystic Snake, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we can do that. Let's go black. All right. Black. Uh, I'll keep up the blue. Keep up these two. Tap all the lands that don't actually have to do with Mystic Snake, right? So green, green, blue, blue. We can tap this one. That seems good. And now we get to keep up Mystic Snake. And if we draw any land next turn, we get to play Garrick and still keep up Mystic Snake. Which is pretty powerful. That's a powerful wizard spell. I'm actually super excited about seeing Bumblebee. Maybe I'll go next week. It's not Michael Bay, and it's very, very well received. This seems obnoxious, but I don't think it's unbeatable by any means. So I'm actually fine with it. We can also instant speed uh, activate as Kanta. So you have two cards in hand? Sure. Oh, interesting. Whatever this is. This is like Scarab God or something. Tezzeret? Do I care about a Tezzeret? You get Phyrexian Revoker, I guess. What's the last card in your hand? Can I make you discard this in any way? I don't know. This feels like it's got to go, though. Winter Orb I'm fine with. I don't care if you have a Winter Orb at this point. I'm going to get to untap and play Garrick. <laughs> oh my god. That's insane, dude. We're probably just untapping playing that instead. Actually, Garrick kind of does the same thing here. The, the problem is, like, if we Acidic Slime now, we get rid of this... One, two, three, four, five. Then we have one, two, three to activate this. And that's pretty gas. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's just try to close the game out, I guess. Because, like, also having Garrick uh, not on the board means that they can just play a creature into it and not really... I mean, I know whatever they whatever they play is, like... What they were saving, I imagine. Blightsteel Colossus? <laughs> Sundering Titan. Sure. Uh, it's Choose, huh? Alright, well. So I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to have like 3 lands. Yikes. Three mana sources. Four mana sources, I guess. I'm going to cancel that. Cancel that order. So one, two, three, four. Forest, island, uh, mountain, plains. Yep, we get one, two, three, four, five. Does that do anything, though? Does that matter? I'd rather just have the card, I think. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to have five mana next turn, which lets us play a lot of things. Yeah, this is fine. That's really obnoxious. Yes, sir. Those are all my lands. Put a charge counter on this. So you get to block one dude. You take six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. That seems okay. Although if they trade. Yep.
One, two, three. We can actually activate this, which is kind of cool. Again, comes at the cost of Coalition Relic, though. Sure. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You go to eight. So you're basically dead on board, and we have tons of blockers. Unless you top deck something amazing. And was that round one? Oh my god, that took forever. That was significantly slow. This is usually when I'm done with certain drafts. Wow, that game, that match took forever, dude. We got there. Yeah, our, 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 our deck is sick. Um, that's like, I actually, actually like this hand a lot. Turn 2, Search, Turn 3, Coalition Relic. Any Lotus lets us play Garrick real soon. Also, if we just top deck a Mox, we're in great shape too. Mox Lotus. Nickel Bolas. Hmm. Not exactly what we're looking for there, but alright. So now that they have Turn 1 Mana Vault, I feel like this is going to be significant, significantly less grindy. Turn to Gideon Jura. All right. That is a thing. Come on, Dreadbore. <laughs> what do we got? Dreadbore, Banishing Light. That's probably it, right? When the match was started, I said to myself I would go to work after it was done. Looks like I'm not going to work now. Well, that's a, that's a way to live. There you go. That's a thing. Dreadboar, 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 Dreadboar. Jace the Mind Sculptor. God, I have to put a Jace in the graveyard because that's where we are right now? Yikes. You gonna counter this? Turn two Gideon into counter your Coalition Relic? Oh, that's nice of you. I'll just put a charge counter on this and we'll just move to the... to the future. What are you going to do here? Impulse? Sure. All right, we're going eight, which is doable. Well, this, this is manageable. Vivian Reed, what do you do? Like nothing, unfortunately. Look at these two planeswalkers we put in the graveyard. Well, that's a good one. Let's get a white. Two, three. B -b 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 banishing light. I mean, do they have mana tithe? Is it just a mana tithe turn? Because if you have remand mana tithe in hand, like. Wow, force of will. <sighs> My cringe is real. Did you draw the force of will off of the, the remand? Because that would be pretty amazing. Well, we're looking for a land here. Uh, graveyard... Draw. Not a land, but solid blockers. 
Oh, or we can just play Acidic Slime, get rid of the sort of body in mind. Do we care about that? It's probably just better to play Elspeth here, right? Oh! Oh! Let's not do that. I almost have six to the turn. I'm like, hey, here we go, Elspeth, deal with that. Oh, wait, I didn't make a guy. Alright, well, let's see. I mean, I'm at two, you're at 15. You're basically just as dead as we are. It's basically the same thing. I mean, they only have three cards in their hand. Um, no. I would like to keep this bad boy. Crank that soldier boy. You. So, one thing, I'm actually going to try to uh, play Garrick next turn. Let's get rid of that dude. This is also turn seven. They missed quite a few land drops. Yep, that's fine. So now we get to untap. Oh, do they just play? Oh, that's great. This is great. This is great because now we just get to Garrick kill this. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is what this is this is this is the comeback of the century, boys. Uh yeah, you can put that in the graveyard. <laughs> Don't care about you. I'd rather just hit land drops at this point. Black. Green, blue, one, two, three. Your boy. Got him. Remember that time they had turn two Gideon? And then we were like, what problem is? I would like to start gaining some life with this wormy boy, but we're not there yet. We are not there yet. And if they want to invest two mana every turn when they have four mana, that is okay with me. Should we have pumped and said last turn? One, two, three. It would have been six damage. Three extra damage to be at seven. And then we'd be able to do one, two, three... Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can put them to one. That's pretty cool. Dreadbore. Um, do we want a dreadbore? No. I'll never dreadbore. Do 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 do. Creeping tarpit is a is a problem. Boom, doom, big, doom, 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 doom. They don't have a second blue yet, though, which is interesting. We don't want them to go one, two, three, attack, equip. Oh, they actually, do they just die here if they go to one? Like, they have to actually spend mana and untap this, right? So they can go one, two, three, four. And then they're not going to have the two mana for this, right? And they're going to draw top. This is really interesting, actually. So one, two, three, four for Vault. And we have one, two, three left over. And then I'm also tempted to actually just kill one of my own guys here. Four, five, six... Um, Yeah, this is good. Oh, all right, cool. We just put them one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're, I was actually gonna eat this with with Garrick so that you go to six, just so we're outside of the the range. Wow, that was insane. Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> submit like this, I guess. I 
Well, that ain't gonna do it. This is actually okay. Keep that. Alright, seems good. Mox jet off the top. Oh, we actually knew what was on top. <laughs> we, we knew. Oh, turn two mana vault, eh? Oh, not so greedy now, eh? This is rough because I really kind of want to just play Signet so that we have four mana next turn. Or so that we have a white source next turn to deal with whatever they play. Which I think is actually probably better than... Probably better than... Spell Pierce? Sure. Knock yourself out. Also, how do I think it works? These are all good questions. White source. We're good at this game. All right. Tundra. I suppose it's a tundra. Because it gives us a second blue, which we really want for Jason things. It's not Godless Shrine. Yeah, it's definitely this. One, two, three. Nope, that ain't it. This is it. Don't you remember you told me you don't remember? <sighs> yeah. White source. I want to take two here because we're saving one, so it's a little bit. One, two, three, four. They've already played Spell Pierce. They could force of will this, I guess. They could remand it. They did none of those things. Creeping Tarpet is definitely looking pretty scary here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana that we can play Garrick next turn. We have two black, a blue, and we don't have a second red. Our red is attached to our baby, 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 oh baby, I love you. Oh, Venser, what are you bouncing here? Banishing Light? Sure. Let's just go to the next game after that one. Oh, Jason the Mind Sculptor. That's a real card. I wish we could draw our our things. We draw our things. Kick, 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 keep. Brippity bop. Chase the Mind Sculptor on turn one, or just Thief of Sanity on turn one, which is likely going to... Actually, this might produce more value. <sighs> However, we're much more likely to just cast Thief of Sanity normally. Yeah, we're just going to Jace here. And hope they don't have Force of Will. Oh, God. Nailed it. So let's draw three cards. Hit a mox. Hit a mox, 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 and a mox, and a mox, mox, mox. What are we shuffling back here? Probably Grave Titan, Hissing Quagmire. Because I want to play Sacred, I want to play Arid Mesa here. Uh, to play Search for Escanto, which really puts us way ahead, I think. And what are we getting here? We have a green. We need a red. So it's probably just Badlands, actually. Badlands seems great. T 
Turn one Jace, turn two search, turn three Thief of Sanity. Seems seems reasonable. Um I'm gonna be honest, I probably don't care about this. I'd rather just hit land drops at this point, which I'm doing quite well. We're actually gonna plus here. I don't think we need any cards at this juncture. Um yeah, put that on the bottom. Maybe that's your only white source, who knows? It was not, but it's still better than planes, so I'm okay with it. Um, Hissing Quagmire, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go, Hissing Quagmire? Now nah, we can draw it. I think that's fine. I also wanted to give Jace protection from a creeping tar pit hit, so that's why we did that. Oh, wow. Just going to condemn this dude, huh? Okay. So we don't have second blue for Mystic Snake. What's better here, Huntmaster or Elspeth? Probably Elspeth, right? It might be Huntmaster. I really like Vivian Reed next turn, but we don't have the mana for it, unfortunately. It's kind of awkward. So we're going to put both of these back. You and then you. We'll definitely play you so we can play a thing this turn. One, two, three, four. Now it's just a matter of which one we choose. Let's choose Hunt C in, in case they don't do anything. Elspeth, seem, Elspeth seems more durable, but Huntmaster puts like four power on the board. I mean, Elspeth can too. You make a 1 1, you make, give plus 3, plus 3, but. Oh. This is interesting. They didn't do anything. Do I want Mystic Snake? Do I want Vivian? No, I definitely want Vivian. I definitely want Aunt Viv. Oh, we did it, boys. We did it, boys. Oh, oh, we did it, boys. Put the Compulsive and the Island back. No, the Hissing Quagmire back. We're definitely playing Island here. And then we're just going to pass with Mystic Snake up. Do I counter this guy? Probably not. I don't think there's anything this can bounce that I really care about. I mean, they're probably just going to bounce the Jace, which is fine. We've got infinite value off of Jace so far. And if they play a spec second spell, our Ravager flips back. Interesting. You just play nothing here? All right. Vivian Reed still? No Hissing Quagmire? No, I'll just keep that and play it. That's fine. I can see Venser coming down here. You got it. You got it. I'm just not gonna play anything. Like if they have force force of will, it's it's great. If they have uh spell pierce, it's kinda bad for them. Remand is also obnoxious, but This is actually great because they can't spell Pierce it and it lets us play a creature for free next turn. Like they can force spike it or force of will it and then they go down to like three cards. But then we get to untap and play like Jace. Elspeth. Yep, force of will. Sure. So they're basically trading a J the Day of Judgment of Force of Will and whatever they exile for a Huntmaster and a Mystic Snake. That seems super fine. Boof, boof. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Confirmed they have no other blue cards in their hand. Wow. That's unbelievable. Uh, yep, I can put that in the graveyard. I don't care about that. 
Mox. Garrick. So we definitely just want to be playing around Spell Pierce because they're probably playing in such a way that forces us to do so. Um, I also think I just want to actually look at them because if they if they draw land for me, actually they're going to just tap out to, to play Tarpet if they have to. Let's just get Sacred Foundry and keep up Coligon's command. Yeah, this seems great. Because we can actually deal two to this and get back like either Huntmaster or Mystic Snake, which is pretty insane. Um, yeah, that's fine. We think we just make them discard a card and get back like Mystic Snake here. Or we can kill one of these guys. We're also drawing a Garrick, and we're going to kill the Planeswalker. Actually, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play Garrick. Um, return, uh, return a creature and make them discard a card, probably. No, we actually just want to shoot one of these guys so that they can't kill Jace on the spot. Uh, target player discards. I'd rather return a creature and deal two damage. So I'm going to get back... Mystic Snake and kill one of these guys. Red, black, white. This is going to be a, a no from me, dog. Uh, no. And if we actually hit a land off of Jace, one, two, three, four, five, we get to just play Nicol Bolas, right? So let's try to hit a land. This is what? Blue, black, black, red. And we get a Mox. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to put you back and put you back. Putting you out here. This deal, this gains a permanent, right? Gain control. Oh, we destroy a permanent. Oh, no. That's worse. I'd rather just... Um, it is plus, though. Puts us to eight. Yeah, that's definitely the play, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is where you want to be. <laughs> yep, seems good. Uh, destroy a non-creature permanent. How about you? And we'll play a land. Is our deck good? Our deck seems sweet. And we have Mystic Snake, so like whatever you do now is like the, the last thing you get to do. I think we've assembled the gate watch. And we win the match. All right. We are currently 2-0. Whew. This is a heck of a... This is a heck of a thing. We're basically unbeatable. Join the match. Oh, dang it. If this had a... Yeah, no, I can't keep this hand. This one I can keep. If this was any other land... Oh, boy. We can still play turn one Elspeth, which is actually pretty insane. And let's hope it goes better for us than it did for our opponents. If Captain America and Thanos teamed up. <laughs> oh, that's guess. But that's a good guy and a bad guy. I think we're going to focus on embleming this Elspeth, which doesn't seem too out of the question against a, a deck with only planes. You guys have Taunos to thank for this sweet stipulation. This worked out quite well. Not to say we're going to 3-0, but... Uh, oh, man. How are you going to have Revoker on turn two? How are you going to... Hey, you, you have to be main decking Revoker as it is, which is not terrible, but it's su also not super common. And then you have to literally have it on turn two. Come on. Give me a black source. That's not a black source.
It's going to pass here. Well, that's unfortunate. Come on. Never fails. They never don't have it. Okay, that's good. Because now we can compulsive. So we're not dead yet. Not dead yet. We don't have many artifacts. Oh, we actually should discard land. What if we... Cool. This guy's got to be real fun at parties. The old Phyrexian Revoker into Mana Tithe. Seems good. Oh, your own Lotus. Wow. Yep, you know what? I'll we'll give this a go. Uh yeah. Turn turn two search is nice. Uh we scoop to a Sundering Titan. That was going to literally destroy all three of the lands we had in play. Wow. Aggressive. Well, at least this match should go uh, pretty quickly. Oh, for crying out loud. Listen, buddy, you don't have to keep showing off, all right? Chapman's <laughs> That's a card. That is a card. Thankfully, fairies are not demons or dragons, so we can just block all day while they gain 5,000 life. Graveyard. Arab Mesa. We're getting there. The 
theoretically, if we top deck a Lotus, we can play Nicol Bolas. Wow, that's aggressive. You just want me to discard my last card? Guess I spoke too soon. Oh my god, can we just top deck Lotus here? Actually, we need to put a card in the graveyard and then top deck Lotus. Jesus, can you imagine? Steal the Bane Slayer. I guess this might incre our, increase our chances, but I, the problem is we don't know what to get. So probably just bad lands because we double black. So we can sack for black. We can go blue black. We don't have a white though. I guess so. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's sacred foundry here. Just gives us a lot of colors. Yeah, that seems fine. God, Lotus right here, right here, Lotus. One time, one time, Lotus. Come on, Lotus. Cidic Slime. Go! Oh, you're not what we wanted. God. That would have been sick, dude. Would have been the sickest. Actually, we still get to... We can discard a Cidic Slime and search for a Lotus. We are surprisingly not out of this. Is this real? Um, yeah, we're going to block. We can't go to seven here. That doesn't seem great. If we discard two cards, we're going to play this, and they're just going to make us discard the Nicol Bolas, which we don't want to do. This is actually fine, because next time we can go Orzhov, Signet, Banishing Light. We're discarding Mind Twist for sure. How are we still alive here? This is actually pretty impressive. I don't understand what's going on right now. Dark Ritual and Sundering Titan, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's exactly enough. Welp. This is actually ridiculous. We're so close, too. It's so sad. Yep, never fails. Never don't have it. Guess we should have just made them discard their hand with Mind Twist last turn. <laughs> with their one card. Yep. <sighs> so bad. We have like one chance, right? It's just literally. Oh no, they just make a sack the, the fairy token and then they kill us. Yep, cool. All right, well, we had a good run. 
I think the deck was still sweet. Our opponent just had broken starts and drew extremely well every single game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. So if that's something that interests you, definitely check that out. Uh, you can also submit any kind of stipulation you want to me. You can uh, check out how to do that in my Twitch profile or in the description below. So check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Really appreciate it.